Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Red Magic 3S. Now you can pick this up from Red Magic. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 479 bucks. I repeat, 479 bucks. Now I know what y'all getting ready to say. Here we go again, another mid-range Android phone. No, this is a gaming beast. Now I know what else y'all getting ready to say. What about the ROG 2? Now I gotta tell y'all a story about that phone, but I'll save that for the end of the video. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. Now this is a GSM only phone. So if you got AT&T or T-Mobile, you're good to go. If you got Sprint or Verizon, you asked out. Now the phone comes in three colors. You got Mecha Silver, Cyber Shade, and Eclipse Black. For the display, you got a 6.65 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2340. Now that's 338 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass and the 90 Hertz refresh rate. I repeat, 90 Hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus with the Adreno 640 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now it's running Android 9 VIP with the Red Magic 2.0 skin on top. It comes with either eight or 12 gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. You got a big giant 5,000 milliamp battery that features 18 watt fast charge. You got a 48 megapixel camera in the rear, a 16 megapixel camera in the front, and you can shoot video up to 8K. Now this phone features the active liquid cooling system with a turbo fan. This is a gaming phone, so you gotta keep it cool. Now you got dual speakers with DTS-X and DTS 7.1 sound. You got pro triggers designed for gaming. You get 4D enhanced vibration engine. That's your haptic feedback. We'll talk about that in a minute. You got RGB effects, game space 2.1, and a headphone jack. Now all of that for under 500 bucks, this looks sick. All right, so let's unbox it in and see what it is. Shout out to White Shoes, she got the day off. Here we go, Red Magic 3S. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, white, white Shoes is back in the building. White Shoes, calm down. Now on a side note, I'm starting to get convinced that White Shoes hears me say she got the day off and knows that it's time to go to work. It's just a coincidence, every time I say that, she just pops up. That's pretty strange. <laughs> Smart cat. Here we go. Little unboxing knife. Rah. Let's get into this. Red Magic 3S. Now I'm not heavy into gaming, but we're gonna give this a shot. Let's see, can we get this open? Now this is a nice presentation alert. I see a little hits of red in there, I like that. Little Red Magic symbol. Okay, so this is gonna be your phone. Okay, Red Magic. Let's see what else you get. Okay. Now this is gonna be a charging brick. Now this is not the 18 watt fast charging brick. This is the 12, watt, uh, 12 volt joint. It's capable of 18 watt fast charging, but you gotta buy the brick separately. Anything else in here? That's it for that. Okay, this is gonna be, okay, I like this already. Here's your USB Type-C charging cable, red. Shoes, check that out. That's it for that. And we got one more box. Here's your SIM ejection tool. Got your usual books and shit. And of course, the Red Magic Troll stickers. Pluck them, file them to the side. All right, now for the phone itself. Let's get this plastic off. Right. Okay, check this out. Let me do the smell test on this one. Mm! Yeah, this smells like gaming right here. Hi, this is a gaming phone. It looks like a gaming phone. On the back, here's your RGB strip. Right, we're gonna light that up in a second. 48 megapixel camera. You got the Red Magic logo that actually lights up too. On one side, here's your power button, volume up and down. Check this out. Vents, all right, for that fan, you got the vents right there. You got your triggers. I, you know, when you're playing a video game, you need the triggers. This way, if it only has two buttons, instead of using your thumbs and touching the display, use the two buttons on the top. That's pretty dope. All right, let's hit the power button on this. Comes with a pre-installed screen protector. Here's your switch right here. That's gonna bring you into your gaming mode. You got some pins right here. Now, they sell a dock. It's sold separately. All right, if you buy the dock, you can uh, pl plug it into the dock, and you can plug in the Ethernet cable. 
That's pretty sick because this is a gaming phone. You want that lag-free internet experience, use the Ethernet. On the front, front-facing camera, a little bit of bezels, dual speakers. On the bottom, USB Type-C. Got another uh, speaker grill, some mics, second speaker grill in the top. That's pretty much it. All right, so I'll pause the video. Let me drop all my information in, then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone, got everything all set up, and I gotta be honest with y'all, for under 500 bucks, this is a beast. If you're looking for a dope gaming phone, this is it. If you're looking for a phone for media consumption, this is it. But here's the thing. If you're looking for a phone with all of the latest features, this ain't it. If you're looking for a phone for photography, this ain't it. This is a hardcore gaming phone. But it does fall short in the features department, so let's talk about that first. Here's everything that's missing. Number one, no IP rating, so the phone is not water resistant. Number two, no micro SD card slot, so there's no expandable memory. Number three, no always on display. Number four, no wireless charging. And number five, no NFC. That's everything that's missing. And like I said, the camera is MEH. Meh, it's all right. It'll take some pictures, it'll take some videos. But if you're looking for photography, like I said, this ain't it. This is a hardcore gaming phone. Let's break it down. First things first, the build quality. Now y'all know I gotta say it, feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Has that cold metal feel to it. It just looks like a gaming phone. Now check this out. You see that light on the bottom? Once you turn on the display, that light actually lights up. Let me turn it back off. Look at that. That is so sick. Now you see that RGB strip on the back? That also doubles as your notification LED. So you can set it up to any color you want. You can have it for when you get a phone call, a text message, when you plug your phone into charge, you can have it activate. This is a go. I, I'm feeling that RGB strip on the back. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can open up the phone. Fingerprint sensor works every time. You can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin, but the best way is the face unlock. The face unlock is so fast. Watch this. Look at that. Bang. And I hear that sound. Let me put it by the mic. Listen to that computer sound when you unlock the phone. That's pretty dope. Now check this out too. You see the fan in the background? Keep in mind, this is a hardcore gaming phone that actually has a built-in fan. And I'm going to show you how that looks in a second. All right, so let's go through the basics. Here's all your toggles. Let's see, you got your multicolor LED strip. So you can play with that, turn it on and off. Screencast, auto rotate, battery saver, basic stuff, screen recording. Take it over to settings. Now on a side note, this phone is basically stock Android. Let me show you that real quick before I forget. Here's all the apps that came pre-installed. And I actually added a few. That's it. No bloatware, no fancy gimmicks. This is basically stock Android. Let's take it back to settings. Okay, so you do have your VPNs and your private DNS, and you can also use this as a hotspot and tethering. Let's see, battery. Now, 5,000 milliamps, more than two days battery remaining. That's pretty crazy. Show battery percentage, why not? That's pretty dope. Let's go to display. Let's see anything we need to check out on this. You got your ambient display. All right, so it'll automatically awake the screen for a brief second when you get new notifications. Let's see, uh, that's it for that. A matter of fact, let's go, let's check our preferences real quick. You got colorful mode and natural mode. Pretty much it. Beautiful AMOLED display. Looks amazing. Let's go to our multicolor LED strip. Now you're gonna have a lot of fun with this feature. Okay, so you got two different effects. You got long bright, that means it'll just stay bright, and breathe, flash on and off. Let's see, you got your atmospheric LED, that's the big strip. Let's see uh, different effects. So you got your aura band. Now, I just turned it off by accident. I want y'all to see this. Here's the aura band. Let's click on that. <laughs> y'all got butterfingers. Here's the aura band. Y'all see that? Oh, that's sick. That's the Knight Rider joint. All right, let's see. Uh, Interstellar belt. Okay, that's pretty dope. Skyline. Okay. 
rainbow ribbon. Okay. And you got laser wave. Okay, I like that one too. That, that kind of looks like the Knight Rider theme. We'll leave that. Here's your lamp with sound. We'll leave that like that. Why not? Let's see now. Incoming calls. So when I get an incoming call, that light is going to flash on the back. Notifications, charging, and your boot. Pretty sick. Let's see. You got screen recording. Change the quality. Change the source. You can add an external mic if you want. Let's see. You got picture and picture. Now, this only works with WhatsApp, and I don't use that. So no reason to even talk about that. Game docking station. So if you was wondering with those pins right here, you can buy this separately. You got your game docking station. And like I said, once you put it on the dock, you can plug it underneath the net cable, plug in your headphones, <clears throat> headphone jack, headphone jack, Samsung, Apple, headphone jack. Shout out to everybody that keeps asking me why do I always talk about headphone jacks? They're not extinct. Somebody just sent me a long message. Oh, headphone jacks are like VCR tapes. Nobody use them anymore. Headphone jack. Let's keep it moving. So there's your game docking station. Storage. Now this is the uh, 128 gig version. Counts. Accessibility. If you're hearing or visually impaired, you're good to go. And that's pretty much it. No fancy gimmicks. No air gestures. No, you know, not, nothing to really learn on this. Basic, uh, the basic stuff that you're going to want to play with is that multicolor LED strip. Pretty sick. That's pretty much it. Beautiful AMOLED display. Now I'm rocking this. Max brightness. Excellent viewing angles. It just looks beautiful. I wish it would have had an always on display. I really like those on my phones, but it is what it is. Let's, uh, let's check the web browsing speed. Matter of fact, take it over to Instagram real quick. Now, 90 hertz refresh rate. So that means your scrolling speed is gonna be one plus status, right? One plus status scrolling speeds on this. Like I said, I'm not heavy into gaming, so 90 hertz refresh rate, the only way that I really feel it is when I'm scrolling. When you're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, scrolling speed is gonna be ridiculous. I love that fan. Every time you every time you exit out of a nap, see that fan in the background? Dope. All right, let's check the uh, web browsing speeds. Go to samsung.com. Opening web page. Switched up on you. Yeah, I thought I was going to say Apple. All right, here it is. Look, yo, 90 hertz of refresh rate. Super, super fast scroll. Hold up. What, I, what, what, what is it? Oh, let me exit out of that. Look at the scroll. One swipe. You got your split screen multitasking. Split that up. Let's, uh, let's open up YouTube on the bottom. Let's see what we got on deck. A little bit Income of the debate. Quality is growing in the United States at an alarming rate. And that's pretty much it. Split screen multitasking on deck. Now let me pull up a little, uh, let me pull up a real video so y'all can see this uh, display and really hear these speakers. Now I got to talk to y'all about these speakers. Let me show you something. All right, now at first I thought this was the speaker grill at the bottom, but if you look closely, that's a speaker right there in the front, and another one on the top. Now, when I was doing my little speaker test just now, the speakers was blowing me away. I was covering up the bottom. I'm like, yo, hold up. These speakers sound incredible. Then I noticed that, yeah, they're coming from the front. But that's the thing with the DTS sound, the DTS-X. It kind of sounds like Dolby Atmos. Like, it doesn't sound like it's just sound coming from these two speakers hitting you right in the face. It sounds like sound is coming from the top, the bottom. Now, there's a vent on the side, so some sound might be escaping from the vent. But it's crazy, all right? Let me pull up that video. All right, so I got my usual test video queued up, max volume on the speakers. And for everybody that keeps asking me why I use the same video over and over and over, because this video has loud music and a lot of bright, beautiful colors. Check this out. A little bit of bezels on this. These speakers sound amazing. Now you can cover the bottom and the top and the sound is still shooting right at you. Now you got a little bit of bezels, but I'll gladly trade those bezels for these speakers. As opposed to having bezel-less and bottom firing speakers, speakers on the front is the way to go. Viewing angles on point. Listen to this though.
This is a go. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is the 4D Enhanced Vibration Engine. And basically what that means is the haptic feedback on this phone is intense. And it's not a gimmick. You're gonna notice that immediately. As soon as you start typing and pressing buttons, you feel the phone vibrating like crazy. Now that's gonna be dope when you're playing your games. Get that little bit of extra sensation. Now check this out. I'm gonna plug in the phone, watch this. That little light lights up, RGB stripping effect. This is dope. Now, let's take it over to the camera. You got your World Star Hip Hop button, press it twice. There's your camera. Let's go to all of the different modes. All right, so you got camera friendly, multi exposure, light draw, electronic aperture, clone, time lapse, and slow motion. Now you got pro mode, change all of the settings. Regular photos, let's take it over to the settings. Let's see front camera, 16 megapixels. Back camera, the max is 48. Video quality, now you got 8K, that's beta, recommended for outdoor use only. We'll leave it on 4K, 60 frames per second. You also got slow motion. Exit out of that. You got video, night mode, and pretty. That's all your beauty. <laughs> all your different beauty modes. Let's see, you also got a bunch of different filters. Got HDR, flash, and a timer. Now take a look at these test pictures. All right, now I saved the best for last. This is a gaming phone, so let's talk about gaming. You see that little red switch on the side? That's your game key. So once I activate that, it's gonna put the phone into gaming mode. Now here's all your games that you downloaded. I only got two on deck. Take it over to settings. Check this out. This is the fan. Now when you turn it on, you can actually hear the fan spinning. Now I'm gonna try to be real quiet. I'm gonna turn it on right next to the mic. See if you can hear it. Let me put on a rapid cooling. You hear that? This is dope. All right, so you got intelligent adjustment. All right, the fan is intelligently adjusted according to the CPU temperature. But if you've been playing all day and you forgot to turn the fan on, rapid cooling. Okay, you got your record settings, basic, and help. All right, so let's try a game real quick. Let me load up Street Fighter. All right, now before I load the game up, let me show you one more thing. Now, when you're in gaming mode, if you swipe over, here's all your basic nerd settings. So you got your temperature, auto mode, so you can put on CPU turbo, super turbo. You can turn the fan on and off, change the buttons, screenshot, record, standby, do your thing. All right, here we go. <laughs> now, I haven't played this in a while, so bear with me. Right, here we go. Huh. Hey! 
Ah! Oh! Alright, alright. Let me get let me get focused. Throw. Let's go. Huh? Ah! Alright, hold up. Let me get let, I gotta I gotta get a win. I can't go out with a loss. Stop it. Ah! Uh, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. All right, let me stop. Let me stop. All right, um, <laughs> let's exit out of this one. Matter of fact, all right, so we turn off game mode. And then exit out of this. Now, let me show you one more game. All right, so we got Asphalt 6 queued up. Let's get busy. Now, if you want to, you see how you have the orange screen buttons? You can put them on the top. You feel that vibration. But I'm going to leave them on the screen. Let's go. Here we go. Turbo boost right out the gate. Okay, tap to spin. Double tap to spin. All right. Woo! Okay. Double tap to spin. Back up, son. Let's go. Yeah, I should have put the nitrous on the top button. That might have been a little easier. You see now, when you touch the top buttons, these are touch capacitive, so they actually vibrate. Let's go. Let's keep it moving. Let me get a W. See that drift? Let's go. I know I'm too hyped. Let me calm down. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got too hyped. All right, here we go. Little spin right there. You see the frame rate though? 90 hertz refresh. Everything is nice and smooth. Oh! <laughs> oh, okay. Secret, secret path. Let me. Ah, oh, make it. Let's go. Woo! All right, I did it. <laughs> All right, let me wrap this up. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to ten, if you heavy into gaming or you consume a lot of media, the Red Magic 3S is a major, major, major go. And even if you're not into gaming for under 500 bucks, this is a certified win. Now look, if you could live with no IP rating, no expandable memory, no always on display, no wireless charge, no NFC, and a mediocre camera, then you need to check this out. This is a powerhouse. The build quality is A1. The look is futuristic, definitely looks like a gaming phone. You got a beautiful AMOLED display with a 90 hertz refresh rate. You got the latest and greatest processor and GPU. You got a big giant 5,000 milliamp battery with quick charge four, capable of 18 watt fast charging. You could get up to 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. You got the active cooling system with a real built-in fan. You got the triggers for your gaming. A dedicated gaming mode with all of the different gaming settings, screen record, CPU speeds. You got a headphone jack. You got the sick RGB lights. And my favorite feature, the speakers. The speakers with the DTSX are going to blow you away. The sound is crazy and the vibration is crazy. Like I said, for under 500 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. Anyway, Red Magic 3S, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. And picture me rolling.
your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock wanted to beam up. Energize. All right, so one more thing I wanted to talk about. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, how come I don't review the ROG 2? And let me tell y'all the story behind that. Now, if you watch my official iPhone case video and you look closely at my iPhone, you see I got a reminder to get a police report. So everybody's like, yo, what you need a police report for? Here's why. Now, I tell y'all all the time, I hate buying shit on eBay for over 500 bucks. I prefer Amazon because of the A to Z guarantee. But in early September, the ROG2 wasn't on Amazon, so I had to get it from eBay. Now, I found one for 600 bucks, ordered it September 1st. Two weeks go by, I still ain't get it. I checked the tracking, it's showing delivered. So I hit the sell up, I'm like, bro, I didn't get it. He's like, well, it's showing delivered. I'm like, yeah, but I didn't get it, I didn't sign for it. He's like, look, I can't do nothing about that. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I go to eBay, open up a claim. They told me to get a police report, which I forgot to get. And two days ago, I get an email from eBay saying my claim is closed. They went with the seller. So basically, eBay told me to go eat a dick, hold this L. I just wasted 600 bucks. So I refused to buy that phone twice. Now, here's the thing. If any of y'all really want to see that video and you want to buy that phone off me, I'll do the video and I'll sell you the phone for $200 off. So whatever I pay for it, it's probably around 600 bucks. I'll sell it to you for 400 if you really want it that bad. Other than that, I'm not buying that phone again. So, what do I got coming up this week? Tomorrow, we got the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. Then we got the iPhone 11 Real Review. We got the Galaxy Fold Real Review. We got the new Vivo 5G. All right, they got a new 5 Gangster out. And we got some dope party speakers. That's all coming up this week. Stay tuned. <laughs>